Hi everyone, Sandra here along with Finn. Hello everybody, Nice Scarlark, aka Finn Feather Dragon here. Bundle up, it's gonna snow tomorrow, and spirits are neutral today. There's spirits also... Spirits are getting used to snow. Um, lobster bisque, which we already know how to make, but um... Not sure how I feel about seafood soup. Guess... I'm not a big seafood uh, guy, so... Yeah. Um... So that's your thoughts on it. Yeah, that's that's really my thoughts on it. But I'm sure that'd be good for for other people. Oh yeah. And star fruit. I need these. I've been You've had an empty them. spot in Yeah, the I've had the empty right spot now. there for a while and I keep forgetting to replant it. Um, if you remember to go out to the desert, I can prove to you that you have seeds in that chest. Fine. <laughs> you said, keep getting told I have seeds in that chest. And I swear I took them all. And I probably didn't, because you all wouldn't say, and Ben wouldn't say that I had them there. But... We're going to do that today. It's a thing uh, today. So, question while we're waiting for Pam to get to the bus and running all of our tours. What are your thoughts of puzzles within video games? A new baby lizard? Hatched. Yay! I thought we put a void egg in there. Oh, that's nope. right, we're waiting for the dinosaur Yeah, we were waiting for, for this uh, dinosaur egg to finish. Bickard. <laughs> okay. Bona. Shruta. Paco. Bradley. Bro Brover. Brover? That sounds like a dog's name. Brover. Sounds like something from Broforce. <laughs> Brover! Dude. Oh, you got your right. Fabel. Huh. Katodi? Nabo. 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 <laughs> Nabo. We could do Nabo. No. <laughs> Nico. Nika. No. G. 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 Jill. <laughs> she. What's a good name for a stegosaurus? I have no clue. Spines <laughs> is about the best I got, really. Yeah, so spines was really good. I liked spines a lot. I got nothing else. Um, I'm not good with names. Uh, let's see. Spines and... Well, no, not plates. Um, Spike? Well, it's a girl since it's going to lay eggs, so... <sighs> this started the episode we think of a name for a new dinosaur. <laughs> exciting. <laughs> exciting episode. It's... The most exciting episode. Rissa. That works. Mm -hmm. Sure. Now we can put a void egg in there and get a void chicken, probably. Yes, that's what I wanted. Rissa. They look the same size, even though this one is grown. Yeah. Like, they don't really change. <laughs> I wish they got, like, like a mini. little bigger. I can't when, even when tell grown. it got... I can't tell it got bigger at all. It looks like it's just... No, a... it, look, it looks the same. <laughs> it, it's like a mini steg, no matter what you do. I think they're in the fridge. Or by the fridge. This one. No. This one. That one. Yes. There we go. Void egg. So maybe we'll have a void chicken before this is over with. And... Okay, not the day for the caravan, so still gotta wait for that. Mayonnaise. So, yeah, what are your thoughts of puzzles within video games? Um. Now. I'm not too great with puzzles sometimes. I'm the first one to say that. And. Um. For the most part, I play RPGs, which usually have a puzzle of some kind. I am not opposed to puzzles in video games. But they're not exactly... Um, there, are so, there are some puzzles that I, that I don't like. I don't like invisible wall mazes. Ever. Um, I think they're... They're not fun. They're just frustrating. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't like those. Um, for the most part, though, I do like. Do I? I like. I like them in there, but they have their place. So if you're if you're a main if you're mainly a puzzle game, then that's fine. You can have a ton of puzzles. You can have super hard puzzles. But I don't want to have to spend three days trying to figure out a puzzle to continue playing my adventure game or my RPG. To get for like a dungeon or something? Yeah. yeah. I don't mind like I said, I don't mind having puzzles but they need to be they need to be solvable. <laughs> like it's hard for me to, to exactly explain how I, how I feel about that. I'm fine with them but they have they have their their time and place in games. Um, I guess with puzzles, like you think you're talking like adventure games with puzzles. Zelda is probably the first one a lot of people think of when they think adventure puzzle games. Yes, that is the the first one I thought of. Yeah, because Zelda is well known for its dungeon puzzles as it is for its adventure. Yes. And like you said, you know. Puzzles have their place within adventure RPGs and so on and so forth. Yeah, if, if For, you're gonna, if you're gonna be that kind of game, if you're gonna be like Zelda, mm -hmm. you need to let me know up front, like in the game, that hey, there's gonna be a lot of puzzles in this game. I don't care yeah. if you have to do it through an NPC, through just showing it or whatever. Or but... have like the the dungeon guard or whoever be careful, traps and puzzles lay ahead or something. Yeah, but, like, I mean, lots of traps and puzzles lay ahead. Like, I mean, you need to be blunt with your audience because I know puzzles, to me, in my opinion, are one of the things that can quickly turn off a, a certain section of gamers. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't want a bunch of puzzles. Now... Now, there's some classic puzzles, like the sliding block puzzle, where you push one to another, and it's like three blocks in a row, you push one to another, and you get yes. through. You know, there's... Like I said, I don't mind puzzles in video games. But... I don't need them to... I am moving these. Yeah. Uh, you want to head to the desert and see about the chest? Yes. But, like you said, they have their place. Now, if you're a strict puzzle game, like... Trose, Puzzles and Dragons, Bejeweled, etc., etc. Yeah, that, that's, then, that's your jam. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You, you can have your last puzzle be super incredibly hard that takes you three days to solve. Yes. Because you're a puzzle game. I expect that at this point. But if, like, you're a Zelda game or a Metroid game or, um, V V V V V V six V's. If y'all know that game on Steam. Your view. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten to a kind of a puzzle part of that game, and I got so frustrated. I was stuck on it for about, like you said, three hours. I got so frustrated that I just turned off the game and walked away. Yeah, it, I. I think I was rescuing Viridian. I got him out of like the wonky zone, and now I'm having to walk him back to the teleporter to get him back to the ship. But I'm at a, a point of, um, I'm like having to guide him through a spike puzzle, and it is so pixel perfect, like how I have to jump, how he moves, and no, wait, 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 oh. <laughs> ah, and draw. <laughs> ah, anyway, but it's like so pixel perfect how you have to get him through. I have not found that pixel perfect spot yet, and. I am just so frustrated that I, I've, I told myself I was going to look up on YouTube how to do it, and I haven't done it yet, just because it irked me so badly. See, that's how I can get with puzzle games. Yeah. Which is why I don't play a lot of puzzle games. Um, every now and then, I, I, I want to play a puzzle game. Mm -hmm. And so I, I'll, I'll play a puzzle game. But, you know, they can be. They can be super frustrating. So you got to let your... Now, if you're playing a Zelda game at this point, you should know to expect puzzles. Yeah. Look at the top row. I'm sorry, what did you say? You're right, sweetheart. <laughs> I also had deluxe feed row in here. Wow. 
We got it, folks. Y'all can stop commenting about it now. That's true. You can stop commenting about it. I was wrong. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> it's okay. I love you anyway, dear. Mwah. I love you too. Cat, you just went outside. Stay outside. <laughs> Random. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my, my cat being a cat. Anyway, but like, if you're playing a Zelda game now, if it's your first Zelda game and you have heard nothing about it, you might get caught off guard by the puzzles. But yes. Some of the newer um, Zelda games kind of ease you into the puzzles. Yes. Of where you'll get into the room and maybe you have to light all the torches for the door to open. Which is but, the classic Zelda mechanic. Yeah. But you were given a Deku stick or something and you're running around and maybe you'll click, oh, stick equals foeable equals I can get fire. Yeah. You try that and you pick up fire off of the one lit torch. Oh, okay, so now let me light these other torches. Dee -doo 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 -dee. Oh, sweet! I solved it. You keep going. Yeah. Versus maybe like the last temple before you find the Triforce of Courage or go and fight Ganondorf. At this point, you're expecting a puzzle. So when you get in a room with nothing, no enemies, or you have to like fight the enemies, but nothing happened, your mind automatically flips to, okay, puzzle. What do I have to push? What do I have to do? And you start looking around for what you have to do. But they're not super duper hard, like you were saying. It doesn't take you three days to solve them. Yeah. It might take you 30 minutes, depending on the difficulty and how obvious the solution is. Or some of the newer ones will have a like a note somewhere in the room where someone has scribbled on it, and maybe it's messed up a little bit. Maybe some of the words are mixing. Push red blank. So you look for the red thing, and you push it, and the puzzle is solved or whatever. So. But, it, like, they help you. It, they're not super obvious, but at the same time, they're not super difficult where it's just a plain white room and you have no idea what to do. Mm -hmm. Like, like stuff like that I can handle, where you just stop, you think about it, you solve it, and you move on. Not you're stuck there for three days plus. Right. Um, I know one complaint is the Ocarina of Time Water Temple. Mm hmm because, yeah, because you miss up one step of that puzzle, you have to go back to start a room and restart the whole puzzle, which is very annoying. I hate Water Temple. <laughs> a lot of people do. But Like, see, like, that, that's what I'm talking about. When I'm talking, like, puzzle that I can't stand, I can't stand, um, hidden block, uh, like, not hidden block, but, like, invisible, invisible maze puzzles. Mm -hmm. I think, I, I think they're terrible. I don't like them at all. And uh, the other, the other thing is anything really complicated, like the uh, like water temple. Yeah. Whereas if if you don't know what you're doing and you go into the water temple, you're in there for a while. Like that's yeah. just really frustrating. As now I know they tried to make it easier in the 3DS remake. Because I know you had to, like, go into your menu, equip your boots, go in, unequip, blah, 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 blah. So they made, like, a quick access so you wouldn't have to do that so much. But it still sucks. It's, it, well, and, and you, uh, you don't have to do as many, like, super just running around steps. Yeah. Like, they did. They, they made it a lot better in the, in the remake. Um, because everybody complains about the water temple because the water temple is bad. Um, so anything like that. Like I said, I don't mind puzzles in games. Sometimes I get a lot of fun out of them. Sometimes I'm up for the challenge. And if you're up for the challenge and you solve it, there's a small satisfaction of, yeah, I yeah, solved, I solved it. it. I'm awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, I've had that on video before. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, I solved it, and yeah, you get you get excited. But um, there are times that if you're not a puzzle game, yet you have a ton of puzzles, like I just I just feel like I start to get worn down. And it's like, oh great, another puzzle that I have to solve. Yeah. Especially if they're not fun. Like you can make a puzzle fun to figure out. 
There, there, there are little, little ways to do it. And I'm not a puzzle game aficionado. That's not my thing, so I can't completely tell you, tell you how. I just know there are times where I don't mind solving puzzles because I'm like having fun figuring it out. Was well, like I was talking about with the deco stick puzzle. You, you know, go off of common sense. Wood burns. So common sense to the player of, I don't have a lantern or something currently but I have a stick, and I have a source of fire. So just let the player put two and two together and figure it out. Like, like something like that I'm okay with. But like you said, when it's overly complicated, just no. Just not fun at all. Uh, I've, a... seen, I've seen a couple of adventure puzzles where it's multi-level. Where you have to like knock a block down a level so you can get to the next part of the level, or next part of the puzzle... And so on and so forth. Where mm -hmm. those could be a headache, unless you have like an arrow or something, or like you said, something on the wall that says, "I've tried to push down these blocks. Maybe that will work. See if I can get somewhere." You know, a note left by the last adventurer or something. Yeah, I don't. Uh... I said, I, I just my thing is, I don't have a problem with puzzles, but sometimes they are, they are not, not fun. And then when they're not fun. Nobody's having fun. Then there's, you know, that's when I don't like puzzles. When the puzzles aren't aren't fun. When they're much more frustrating and just headache-inducing than they are fun. You can have a hard puzzle and it still be fun to figure out. Yeah. Now, I'm not a puzzle person either. But, you know, when it's a, a puzzle that I can recognize either as a common Zelda puzzle or... I realize that there's a puzzle going on, and I start working on it, but it doesn't take me five days to solve it. That's one thing about puzzles. Like, the more experience you have with puzzles, the uh, easier, in general, time you will have with them. So, like, for example, if I'm playing a Zelda game and I get stuck, one of the first things that goes through my mind is, okay, is there anything for me to light in this room? Exactly. Because I've played a lot of Zelda games, and I know Zelda game mechanics. So if you've played a lot of... If you've played a lot of games, you will... You will start recognizing, oh, I've seen this type of puzzle in another game. I have a way to start out. Or sometimes with the games where it will walk you through the puzzle in the first dungeon, and reintroduce a harder version of that puzzle in the last dungeon, but you'll recognize it of like, oh, okay, this is just this puzzle again, let me see what I have to do. Yeah. Like, but for me, I'm going more like just experience. Yeah, if just you, like experience. If, if you have a lot of experience with, with video games, you will find it easier to solve puzzles because you, you'll see certain patterns over and over again. Yeah, for um, sure. So, that helps. Yeah, That's, or you talking um, like um, experience some of the newer Metroid games, not like other M. I mean, like the newer ones, the trilogy, the Prime trilogy. Some of those had puzzles, but it usually involved you getting a rocket and shooting it or something. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what were you gonna say? That's it. That I, I had oh. nothing else. That's <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I mean puzzles if they're done well in adventure RPG, basically anything that's a non-puzzler, it works. But if it's a strict puzzle game, hey, you're a puzzle game. You do your thing. Or, I guess another kind of puzzle is, would you count Boo Houses in the Mario series as puzzles? In a way, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because you've got the doors with multiple exits, or you're trying to find your way to the flag post. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're more mazes than they are puzzles, but I think they can kind of fall into the same category. But again, like you said, from experience, oh, it's a boo house, here we go. Let me get ready to think instead of just jumping to win or whatever. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. That's, uh, that's all I got. Hey, level 10 fishing! Woo! Choose a profession. Angler, fish are worth 50% more. Or a pirate, chance to find treasure doubled. You don't really sell many fish, do you? I make it into sashimi. <laughs> <laughs> I make it into sashimi or keep it. Like I keep a lot of fish. Like I really don't. I really don't fish for money. 
Yeah. I'm going to take pirate to find more treasure because we could find artifacts. We could find gold, you know, gold or all kinds of things. Yeah. Now double may not be much. If there's like just a 1% chance to find treasure. Now it's a 2% chance, Ooh. <laughs> but you know, I think that's more for me than angler. Yeah. Just because I don't sell the fish. Well, angler would be good with the new update. How if you had a fishing farm, get angler and you could fish and sell that for money. Oh yeah, absolutely. That'd be really good for for somebody that does that if you do fish to make to make money, angler is definitely worth picking up. I will take pirate. Yeah, if that's your primary source of income is fish, go yes. for it. There you go, there's the star fruit, jelly and the melon wine. Yay. Alright. Anything else? Nope. D just it, you're gonna have a puzzle and make sure it fits with the game and that it's not overly frustrating. There you go. All right. So for Finn, I've been Nice uh, I'll see all you later. I'm Sandra Nine. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.